what, the 12th of December, Tuesday. Yeah, do the videos for fun, something to do. Next build project, snow plow. It's got a manual angle, it's an old Fisher. It's got drip edge, somebody's Jay rigged some uh, shoes on there. Six footer, but I'm trying to make it so it'll clamp on the bucket, the tractor. Something other than the uh, snowblower to use. That's what the snowblower was. See, so we got probably, uh, I don't know, Two inches of snow, wet, shitty stuff. But, so we took it out, hooked the snowball up to the quick hitch attach, and uh, snowballed on the driveway. <coughs> now we got down and quite couldn't make it back up, so I guess it's time for chains. Try to wait as late as possible because we have the V bar chains. So they tear everything up. We got them for the front of the tractor, the back of the tractor. Real aggressive work great, but unless the ground froze and it tears the crap out of everything. But as you can see, still got the damn log splitter put away. I'll probably get the buggy out there and uh, haul that up. Get a little utility trailer put away. And then uh, hopefully get that plow out of the snow start welding on that one of our few subscribers Joshua Glenn plans on helping us with the build uh, I don't know how far we're gonna take it how easy we're gonna make it either way it's gonna be way better than Chad's but yeah we got the GoPro out not that, that thing works for shit but try to make some different angles maybe a second camera probably gonna be loud in here with the uh, heater on as you can see I've done absolutely nothing with the electric insulation it's all the electrics all ran outlets are hooked up got a wide view but I just haven't really cared to finish the panel up anything like that Got the blower on. Everything works fine with the uh, quick hitch. There's no issues with PTO link, anything like that. I can go up, down, anything I need. Uh, I'm going to do an update video at some point. I ordered a new hook. So it's going to set the hook out probably, I'd say, another inch or so. So all the issues of this binding on everything. So hopefully that helps. Uh, Ordered with a co-worker, saved us some shipping, ordered two of them. He just purchased one of these for his coyote. Uh, yeah. So we got the chains out. The front ones aren't a real pain in the ass, but the back ones are. I'm going to start with these. Might wait until I have help for the rear ones. Wrangler Star shared a mini chain binder. Didn't really give much detail where he got it from or who it was made by. But, uh... Found one on Amazon for like ten bucks. So it's gonna it should help with the uh, the tension is here. Like that. Well, the front ones, these don't really matter because you can easily pull these, but the rear ones are much larger. I think actually in this bucket. Yeah. So it'll be easier to pull those and uh, get the chains nice and tight on the rear wheels. So this is absolutely unstoppable. You have front and rear chains with the V-bars. Super aggressive. So, at least with those, I can steer and get back up the driveway. But their plan is for the front, probably poor lighting, but have that so it's going to clamp on the bucket. I'm going to run a chain up and over to that. So it should be a good time. So the garage doesn't come along oh so well. Temporary workbench there. Got the toolbox. Torches and welder. Plan is we're gonna have that in an outside room. Well, I don't know. Maybe once I get going along a little further, I'll start making garage videos, something like that. You guys might be able to see my breath. But 
yeah, we have a door. We have another back room up there. It's probably, I'd say probably 16 by 18. So that's why the electrical 